Hey, how's it going everyone? Don here, and you're watching VR Gamer Dude, and today we're finally getting our first look at the Viter One XR glasses system. And you know, I can't thank Viter enough for sending these over to the studio. I have had an incredible time these last couple of weeks playing with these and getting to know them, and you know, I can't wait to share my thoughts. So in this video, we're, we're going to go through a lot of stuff. We're going to take a look at the glasses, we're going to take a look at the neckband computer, we're going to take a look at the docking station and a few other accessories that Viter sent me. So kick back and relax. It's going to be a long one, but it'll be worth it. All right, let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the glasses first here. Now, you know, they come in a really nice hard shell case, which you would expect for a very expensive piece of delicate tech like a pair of glasses. So, you know, Viter really did an outstanding job with the case here. Nice on the outside and on the inside. You've got this, this cool little compartment for storage of your cable, a lens cloth, whatever little small accessory you might want to carry with you. And then they cradle the glasses really nicely. So the glasses themselves, I mean, they are just really nicely made here. I, the, the, the construction is sturdy, they're lightweight, but they do not feel cheap in any way, shape, or form. It, 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 it's, it's just like a, a really, really, really premium pair of sunglasses. Got good hinges on them. Uh, I, I like the silver accents here. Um, you've got your uh, cord connection here, which is a magnetic cord connection, which is really smart on these so you don't get them tugged off your head uh, by, by, by catching the cord on something. Um, and you know, one of my favorite uh, features of these glasses and, and something that I feel should be built into every pair of glasses, AR, VR, XR, whatever are, it, it just needs to be in all glasses is this diopter adjustment. It's, it's magical. If for people like me who wear glasses, it's, a, it's amazing to just be able to slip these things on and go, okay, there we go, and, and dial in my prescription. So thank you, Viter, for doing that. I, I would love to see other manufacturers do that as well. And you know, since I've got them on here, I gotta say they're all so fashionable. They, these, these look great when I'm wearing them in public. I, I, I've gotten compliments on them, but man, what, what kind of sunglasses are those? I'm like, no, these aren't sunglasses. So super cool there, uh, you know, that I can wear these out in public and, and feel comfortable about it. I don't feel dorky that I'm like wearing these big oversized glasses or something that looks like bug eyes. I mean, they just look great. So form, fashion, function, it, it's all here with the glasses, but it's not just the glasses. I mean, these connect to a lot of things. Connect them directly to your PC, connect it to your phone, you know, similar to other ones that are out there. Uh, the star of the show is what I'm going to show you next, and that's the neck band. So let's check that out. All right, so here we are in the neck band, and you know, I got to say, I've tested a lot of these XR systems over the last couple of years, and th this is a game changer. Th this little simple computer that you wear around your neck is 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 makes all the difference in the world. And, and I'll tell you why, because what you're seeing here is not just what you get. Uh, you've got everything. You've got wireless connections to your PC. You've got wireless connection to your phone. You've got the ability to run media apps. And as you see right here, RetroR, I, I mean, basically emulators and games, and you can side load to this thing. And it is just all that. So I'm gonna take you through a little Little bit of the interface here in the neck band and uh, you know show you what it's about so basically here we are in the home screen that's where we can pin our favorite apps we've got all of our recommended stuff uh, you can see I am using my handy dual shot controller uh, for a couple of good reasons this does have controls right here on the neck band you can do everything by clicks but dual shot paired right to it and the mouse pad even works so that is amazing so anyway back to this so home screen here uh, you can go up here and then go to your apps 
uh, and then apps is basically everything that I have downloaded or installed. So, um, you know, other things that you can do, obviously all of your media streaming services like your Netflix, your Disney Plus, your Paramount Plus. Uh, I, I've loaded some other cool things like Kodi, uh, you know, RetroArch uh, for, for, for emulator gaming. You can do a lot of the emulator gaming here. Uh, I've added a file manager. Uh, so again, you, you can totally sideload things and no problem there. And then of course they have their curated store and two really cool things happened this week and that is they added PS Play and XBX Play completely free if you have the neckband. So you don't have to pay for those apps on the App Store. Uh, if you have the neckband, it just comes free. Now, I'm not a console gamer, um, you know, so basically I'm going to be using things like Moonlight or, you know, Steam Link is, is one of my things that I love the fact that these can just really hook right to my powerhouse PC over there and I can play all of my Steam games on this huge screen laying in my bed or on my couch. And then of course if you want other people to see what you are seeing in the in the headset you can also screencast over from the neckband to your Android device or your Windows PC. So uh, again just just so many ways that you can connect this neckband. It's even got an addressable USB port on it right here, USB-C, so you can even plug in flash drives for extra storage or movement of files or, or carrying movies with you if you're on a plane, like, like really large movies. Um, you know, it's got the 3D player here. I just watched Ready Player One in 3D and it was stunning. So anyway, I can't say enough good things about this neckband other than you or owe it to yourself to grab one of these. The price is insanely good. So, all right, let's 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 move on to a couple of the last accessories. So let's talk real quick about the mobile dock. Now, the mobile dock is super cool, guys, let me tell you. So this thing is going to convert any of your HDMI or alt USB-C sources to a glasses connection. And not just for a single pair of glasses, you can actually plug in two so you can do multiplayer gaming on things like your nintendo switch and you know i gotta tell you did that with my kids the other day and it was super cool so if you're grabbing a pair of vitra ones or if you're grabbing a couple of pairs of vitra ones for some multiplayer goodness i can't recommend this guy enough Why'd I slip on that? It's very clear, I'll say that. Yeah. I expected it to be like a projector screen where it's kind of like see-through, but it's not, and that's cool. Yeah, I like the auto darkening of the glasses. Oh, Missy wants to play too. Hi, Missy. Do it. I have to say, this is really cool. This, this docking station having two player capability. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and round everything out by taking a look at the last of the accessories Vitra sent. So this one, in my opinion, is a must 
have, especially if you're only going to be getting the glasses, not the neckband, and you're going to be using this with something like your phone. So this is the uh, USB-C to glasses and charging adapter. It's obvious what it does. You plug it into something USB-C like your phone or you know other devices and it's going to give you the ability to plug in your charger and your glasses or a battery bank and your glasses. So definitely useful on the go if you want extra power without it. Even on my Note 20 I think I got a little over two hours like just right over enough to watch a full movie and then my phone was pretty much dead so the next one is another charging accessory and that's the charging case uh, for the neck band so if you are getting the neck band this does not come with the neck band uh, but it is one that I recommend. It's a very nicely constructed clamshell case, matches the case for the glasses. Uh, it does have the magnetic port built right in for charging of the neck band. And with a full charge through the USB-C here on the front, it's going to give that neck band about three full charges. So if you're traveling and you've got all of this with you, definitely a way to keep your neck band charged and ready to go. So the last couple of accessories I want to show you guys before we give some final thoughts are these. And you know, even though the the glasses have the built-in diopter wheels, if you wear prescription glasses, you can't beat a good set of prescription lens inserts and it, they have actually partnered with Lensology and they do a really, really nice magnetic lens insert here. So it just clips right into place and it's my true prescription. So no having to try to dial it in. Everything looks crystal clear and sharp. Can't recommend it enough. Now, save this one for last because I can't even actually believe this is an accessory. So the little plastic light shield here, you would really think that that just comes with the glasses, but it doesn't. So you've actually got to buy this separately and I don't understand why because I'm not going to lie, it's not even that good of an accessory. Uh, it, it does actually uh, clip on there but you've got to kind of squeeze it here at the bottom leaving thumbprints on the inner lens which just bothers me. And even then it just it, it tends to just fall right off sometimes. So. You know, Viter, you might just retool that a little bit and consider just putting it in the package with the glasses like everybody else does. It, it, it's a thin piece of plastic. I don't know why people are having to buy that separately. So anyway, that's rounding out the accessories. Now let's move on to my final thoughts about the entire Viter ecosystem. Okay, so I guess all that's left is really to give you guys my final thoughts. So I'll try to wrap this up pretty quick for you. I love them. I love these glasses. This is like one of the most well thought out systems that I have reviewed in years. From the glasses to the accessories, Viter put a lot of attention to detail and love into these and it absolutely shows. So the big question, would I recommend that you spend your hard earned dollars to buy a set of these? And you know, if you're already in the market for a set of XR glasses, they're kind of comparatively priced all across the board right now. I'm going to say, yeah, these are definitely the ones that I would go with. Now, I, there are a couple out there that I have not reviewed yet. We're getting there. Uh, those, those reviews will be coming up soon, I, I guarantee you. But for the moment, these are my daily drivers. I, I love them so much. I've put everything else on the shelf and these are the ones that I carry with me every day. So if you want to learn about it, if you want to grab a set, I am going to throw a link for what you need in the description. And just full disclosure, I like these so much, I actually decided to do an affiliate deal with Viter. So if you use my link or code VRGamerDude at checkout, you're going to get 10% off and the channel gets a little something for, you know, doing the deal. So it helps everybody out and I would appreciate it. So, all right, that's it guys. I got to go play some retro games and watch some movies. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off.